Hello guys, in today's video we are going to go ahead and model a simple bottle in Autodesk Maya 2018. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so I don't have a reference image for some reasons. Um, I'm gonna do it um, completely based on my imagination, which is not the greatest thing. However, we're gonna do it anyway. So first, let's go ahead and create a project. What I'm gonna do is go into my desktop and create a new folder. Let's call it bottle modeling. Okay, now this is just being organized, not really necessary. Go into your file, under project, go into project window and click on new. Let's name it bottle modeling. Okay, so on the location, go ahead into our desktop and bottle modeling. Select, hit accept, and we should be good to go. Now, in, in, in order to check it, go into file and hit open scene. So, you should go into bottle modeling. If that's done, that's done. But if you have already created a project, what you can do is file and set project. And click on this and set. Anyway. Okay, so now actually let's get started guys. Enough of talking. Let's create a cylinder right here. You can also go into... First let's get rid of these windows. Hit down space button and under um, like on this right side, right blank space, left click and drag. Time slider, range slider, command line and maybe we'll get rid of this toolbox. We know the hotkeys. Okay. So we have a huge space now. Um, we can also get rid of the self anyway. Let's get rid of the self here. Okay, now we have a grand space to play. Um, now let's create a polygon primitives cylinder. It's 20 subdivision across the axis, it's good. Press F to frame in. And um, now let's go ahead and Place it right on the grid. Hit down space on the front view. F to frame in. Um, we don't see the grid, guys. So middle axis, to be honest. So right click here and grid options. And click the thick line for axis if it's earned. on on yours, it's good. Apply and close. Now we see. Now for the purpose of recording this video, let me get rid of this small thing as well because I want a more real, bigger real estate. So settings preferences, preferences, and click on this button and hit save. Now we have a big space. Okay, so what we want to do is hit W. Now we have, um, we can now um, change the pivot location, hit D and hit down X and pull it down. Now the pivot is on the bottom. Hit W to move the cylinder, hit X and snap it there. Okay, so we have our cylinder on the bottom. Now we're, what we can do is get rid of these upper caps, upper faces. So let's get rid of them. Um, control and click to deselect the things that we want and now hit delete. Okay. Now going to our front view, object mode, right click and go into object mode, hit R and scale it to your liking, pull that up. <laughs> right now it looks nothing like a bottle, but don't worry, we're gonna see the changes. Now going to our mesh tools and insert edge loop. So we will taper this in. Um, we're gonna need one right here and um, do right about here. I'm just imagining it. This is not the best practice guys. I should have looked at the model but anyway let's give it a go and we'll learn from this <laughs> something. Now go into our vertex mode. Click on these sorry hit R and go into our vertex mode R to scale it in. Okay, there we go. Scale it a bit. And um, let's scale these guys in as well. We need a place to grab our hand. 
okay so we can exaggerate it a bit uh, yeah looks good anyway so let's pull this down slightly okay now I hit three let's see how it looks when we hit three um, doesn't look like a bottle <laughs> looks like a vegetable but still let's see where we can get go from here so what we can do is go into our edge mode and double click the upper edges and hit control E to extrude and W to move let's move it up and in and G to repeat W to move up a bit and again G W now this is going to be like some sort of cap but we will extract these again hit down G to repeat the last command hit W and let's move this is going to be the cap it doesn't look like a cap right now um, it is so small right guys so let's scale them out a bit R to scale scale quite a bit and again let's pull them up okay let's pull these guys up R um, Okay, now it looks like a bottle. This is what we were going for. Okay, so um, shift right click and sorry, go into our object mode, shift right click and insert edge loop tool. We can add some edge loops here and here, here, oops, probably here. And let's tweak them so to get resi desired results. I hit R. Let's um, scale them out. Let's probably scale them in. Um, so it's like a grip, so it should be good enough. Um, and scale them out a bit. Let's scale these out okay so doesn't look bad guys okay let's hit three and see how it looks yeah it doesn't look bad um hit after framing now what we can do is we can go ahead and fill the hole so click any one edge right here and shift right click and fill hole or you can go into mess and fill hole right here Okay, so it fills the hole, but we need, uh, it's an end gone right now. So we need some edges. Um, so go into our face mode and under edit mess, under faces here, we have book. Okay, so it books. Okay, so this is what we get. And now the other thing is you can hold down um, tab and click so it selects them easily and hit after frame in so control e to extrude offset hold on control and left click so to tune the fine in the deep, um, change okay right here hit g and again repeat the same thing hit g and repeat control and left click and let's get them down okay so not that much let's see Okay, hit G one more time and scale them in and W to move them up. Okay, I still don't know guys why these are um, gone inside. Maybe it's for ba balance or something. I still haven't figured it out. Maybe I need to check it on the internet <laughs> in quite intriguing stuff. So pull them up. Let's see four wireframe. Um, let's see what's going on there. Now let's again control E to extrude and offset it and um, let's pull them down. Yeah, let's hit four. Uh, looks um, natural. 
Okay, now let's hit three and see how it looks. Yeah, looks good, but do you guys see the shading? It does not look right because of those end gun, sorry, those triangles. So let's get rid of these triangles and make them quad. Let's get get rid of the, rid of the grid and go into our edge mode and the, click every other face, sorry, every other edge, my bad. And, and what we can do is we can shift, right click, delete edge. Or you can control delete as well. Um, now let's hit three. Looks good. What we can do is go into face, Q, tab to select and select them. Control E to extrude. And let's offset them a bit. Looks great. We can add edge loop later on. Anyway, let's see. Much nicer. Okay. Now let's get our grid here. Now what we can do is frame in and let's see we can do the same up here so go into our face mode hit down tab and select them Control e to extrude offset and z to repeat offset great hit f now let's get rid of these edges every other edge just like before um, and yeah Safe right click and delete edge. I'm so sorry guys if I'm using shortcuts. It's I'm just habituated. You can go into here as well. Edit mess and um, delete edge vertex right here. Control delete, okay? So all of the hotkeys are inside of these menus. So we can check there as well. So let's see, three looks great. So now, now what we can do is let's um, extract these faces. So these are different Mm -mm -mm. these are different objects so go into our face mode and select these and um, this should be different so go into mess and uh, okay not into mess edit mess and we should see extract here under face extract so we have extracted the faces okay so now if you pull it up oh no no sorry hit w if you hit up go into object mode and click this and hit W. Okay, so the pivot is not in the center. What we what we can do is go into modify and center pivot. So now you can see this is a different mess. Yeah, we can do the same with the other. This edge loop, <coughs> sorry, face loop. My bad. And then hit G to repeat the last command. Oh, I didn't do it. Mess. Um, again, edit mess. Extract. Okay, um, we can see some weird shading, but still no problem. What we can do is go into our object mode and mesh display, and we can um, average the normal. So we should see same um, F shading. Okay, when we hit three, it looks fine, so not not a problem at all. Okay, so now we have two, uh, three different meshes here. One, two, three. So what we can do now is I had the idea of getting some design in here. I just didn't want to make it very simple. Like this is this is going to be very simple. So let I have an idea guys. Let's add some design here. Okay, being being a modeler, we have every creative freedom. So let's go ahead and click this button so we can see the wireframe hit 1 and space bar going to front we've got to do it again this button right here wireframe on shade it okay now i have a design guys i have a design of um, it going like this and again the upper part as well and the lower part i have a crazy design and it this is going to be a little complex but don't worry it's going to be super fun mess tool insert as loop i'm um, sorry multi cut this is our friend today um, let me um, let in order to show you which tool I'm using let's go ahead and bring our toolbox right here so it's multi-cut that I'm using right now okay so we can delete the half and mirror this so we don't have to focus on it but still let's see um, click on this guy uh, okay now click here you don't have to be very critical 
um, but still try to get it um, let's see mm, not exactly what I thought okay so um, this should come right about here about here and about here this is going to be one sort of you know indentation I'm going to um, add some edges again um, we can delete the half part guys um, so again I will do it later on don't worry so let's add the outer edges um, it's gonna make sense soon don't worry guys okay so we're just using one tool multi cut and we're doing great I love it I actually love modeling guys it's so fun isn't it we modelers we have to play with models all day long okay guys so these we're gonna clean up these later on but we're just putting on the guideline so this is one we need another okay so let's get this one flowing so we have again let's go into our perspective hit f and we can do something like this we can even go to great lengths and yeah right here right here here and probably here you get the point hit enter okay so i guess it's a hard, pretty hard line let's see uh, yeah it's pretty hard transition right here um, do i like it or not hmm. um it's not hard that sharp on the um smooth um subdivision so let's not worry about it too much and this is going to look great guys um, repetition and repetition over and over again adding here and here and here here and two more okay hit enter now we've got something like this again we have end gons here so we need to fix these all we'll do it in a bit um, now let's add we can we can add many more but still for the sake of the tutorial it's going to be super long if I don't keep time in mind so I'm going to do one more um, by adding some of these just one more you get the point so you know there's no point now in doing the same thing again and again um, it's like somebody saying that if you do the same thing over and over again and you expect a different result that is what insanity is <laughs> so we're doing something insane okay so I guess that's the halfway through isn't it and yep and let's add in the outer edges here 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 and here here we are gonna have to clean so many faces and this is going to be a different learning so we are going to learn quite a bit because when we clean up a model guys we really learn a lot really it's fun as well and we learn a lot we get to see how we can clean it way better and that's fun okay now uh, this is time um, for us to get rid of half okay now let's let's say it goodbye okay we say it goodbye <laughs> it's funny isn't it okay now let's clean them up we only can accept four-sided polygon no triangles nothing okay let's make it strictly four-sided polygon um 
Now let's see what we can do. We have a triangle here, we have triangles here. These can be, first of all, let's go into our front view and let's grab these vertices and let's make them, you know, the equal size, you know. So what I mean by equal size is hit down W and when you hit Control and Shift and click on any of these translator, you can slide them. So you don't move um, out of the way, so you just slide them along the edges. So let's keep them equal size all around. You can um, put as much time as you have, but for the sake of the video, I may not be able to do it perfectly. But you do have time, so please go ahead and make it as professional as possible. It's always a good habit to make it as professional as possible, guys. Okay, and anyway, it's fun. So, why not? Okay, so now let's. I think that's okay. Now let's um, go into our shift right click and, um, oops, go into object mode, shift right click, and here we have target weld tool. Okay, well, you can also go into mesh tools and target weld tool um, here. Okay, now let's, this is a triangle, um, triangle and a end gone here, so let's pull them in. So we have quads everywhere, here and here. So we have quads everywhere. Um, there are some exceptions, but we're gonna get. So I can show you where are some triangles. This is a triangle, this is a triangle, this is a triangle, and this is a triangle. And, and, easy, and we have triangle here, we have triangle in many places. And I'm gonna show you an easy way how to figure things out, how to know where we have triangles. So we can go into object mode and mess clean up. And under clean up, you can go ahead and select. So it, it will only select the uh, bad or the undesired components. We, it will not clean up without our consent. So select four sided faces, apply. So these are four sided faces. So hold down shift, and hold first Q and hold down shift and select now it toggles now these are bad um, um, faces so this is an end gone these are triangles these are triangles triangles we can get rid of get rid of them easily um, so what we can do is go into our edge mode control right click edge ring utility to edge ring and split hit down g now we have quad okay so w control shift and move them in Okay, so we'll slide them. So if you didn't hit Control and Shift, it would go into different direction and it will destroy our mess. So we have quads here, but we have triangles. So same technique, edge mode, edge mode, Control right click to edge ring utility. Okay, no, once, one at a time. Okay, same, Control right click, edge ring utility, utility to edge ring and split. Okay, stammering. Okay, control shift and slide. Nope, in this direction. Okay, so we have trying quads. And here we have quads. Now let's figure these out. Mm -mm -mm. Let me think. A good approach. So, let's get rid of these. What should I do? If we get them in, okay, let's see, yeah. Go into vertex mode, target weld, and, oops, something's getting on our way. We have, now, um, yeah, I guess it's right here, and here as well. Um, it looks weird to me, but I think like it's a hmm, There's gotta be a better way guys Let's see. Let's give it some another go here and let's see Q Let's delete them and um, Hmm Or maybe not. We have. 
have a triangle here and a triangle here and we ha we only have two triangles right now okay and we have n gons here uh, so yeah and just so we need these so what we can do is um, let's see double click here and go into center so it will add in the center maybe it will help yeah it looks good now mm, yeah okay so uh, do this and yeah, we have five edges it's a pool but it's not bad it's on the outer surface so there's got to be a better way guys maybe I don't know it right now but still don't worry um, hit down Q and let's do the same thing and we have a quad here so go into our edge mode sorry vertices and let's slide them okay and again here as well we have a triangle now we have a quad slide them and that's pretty much it let's see if okay we have another one here as well go into our edge mode and repeat the same thing if I'm doing it quickly guys please rewind the video or pause it so you don't miss it looks great all the quads now the real thing happens okay um, okay so we have enough vertices let's hit 3 and um, let's do this yeah looks fine now what we are going to do is we are going to let's um, delete by edit delete by type history and mess mirror option so x negative x and everything's good you can also reset it'll be good and hit mirror okay now it's mirrored hit f to frame in now what we can do is select the faces that we need shift select select shift select and um this one looks i don't like the distance so shift select these w to move and I hit control and shift to slide once again guys and go into our face mode and again click here double click and we should be good to go control E to extrude them in so carefully extruding, extruding them in not so much and offset so it will scale that in and hit G to repeat the last command. Maybe tidbit right here. Hit three. Yes. Yes, that is what we want it. Looks great, right? So and um, everything looking great. Um, let's hit one. Mm, yeah. Maybe we need one more um, edge around because we see kind of like a pucker here. Even though it's minor, minor detail. Ah, let's not worry about it because that's not a big deal. It looks great. So what we are going to do now is probably... The bottle is probably finished, okay? At least the lower part. Now what we can do is Control e to extrude. And let's ex oops, extrude this out a bit. And hit three, yeah. And this guy, um, I don't think so. This is okay, but still, um, nope. I can Um, we want a different cylinder. So because it has so less subdivision, I want the gripper, the grip, which has many divots in it. So let's go into create polygon primitives cylinder, and W to move it up. We want it to be the same size, but we want many. Uh, we want at least 60, guys. Okay, at least 60. And we are going to our top view and R to scale. And 
and scale them in slightly so we have um, the same size W to move move them down let's see what into our x-ray mode um, yep now bring them down W okay so it looks great so delete the inner part now let's go ahead and delete the one that was before this one let's delete this guy and let's get this um, guy let's make this our cap so delete all the bottom faces okay and let's delete them and it's gonna be uh, quite tedious guys but we have to do it anyway so we have to get it done so offset it a bit and similarly offset it one more time and again we don't want any triangles so this is going to be somewhat tedious guys but every other edge we'll do it quickly hopefully I don't miss on any okay almost there okay shift right click and delete edge that's what I did there okay so hopefully I got everything right yep I did now let's um, go into our face mode select these and control E to extrude and offset them um, I don't want that offset let's see we'll do this one nope um, let's scale them in oh sorry guys let's keep the faces off that's the reason okay now we go so point um, point point or two good, should be good and hit G to repeat the last command and pull them out a bit and um, make them a little smaller okay pull them down and again hit G so that they are sharper pull them out so let's see go into our object mode and um, let's add an edge loop here so mesh tools insert edge loop let's add here it's one here and a couple in the middle and our object mode three uh, looks way better actually looks like a cap so let's get these on place and hit three on them and go into shift right click combine now they are one mess we can call them here bottle underscore final okay we have some history let's get rid of them edit delete by type history okay so it looks superb okay so guys this concludes the video thank you for watching if you liked it please don't forget to share some love and subscribe to the channel i hope you guys learn more from these tutorials and expand your knowledge of autodesk maya and 3d modeling and animation in general so thanks for watching goodbye